Oh, hey. The color, Brandy Cream. The company, Benjamin Moore. This is Hue Review, so let's review. Hello everyone, I'm James. This is The Paint People, and this is the review show that aims to review every single paint color from all the major paint companies. And yes, we're chipping away. Slowly but surely. Very slowly. And if you're new here, you know, no pressure or anything, but uh, press that subscribe button because, yeah, we do a lot of videos on this channel all about paint colors, decorating, all that fun stuff. It's very low stakes around here. We're just hanging out talking about color. And on Hue Review, I talk about a color's vibe, what's that all about, its versatility, which is a very underrated aspect of paint colors, and then ultimately I'll give you my verdict, the three V's. How would I use this color in my home and would I? Would I actually use this paint color in my current abode? Let's find out together. So before we get into this paint color review, here are some alternatives from the other paint companies. This is just in case you don't really want to use Benjamin Moore, or maybe you're just used to other paint companies. These are going to be similar colors. They're not going to be spot on matches. Even if you were to get a custom color match by an expert color master, it won't be 100%. The only way you can get an accurate brandy cream can of paint is by going with Benjamin Moore. And also hope that the paint rep doesn't screw up the formula because you know that can happen not as much with the automated tinting machines but i digress so brandy cream the name gives us some hints we got some creaminess maybe some brandy delicious i mean it's not as good as pizza am i right we're going off the rails here get professional james okay so there definitely is a creamy aspect to brandy cream but more so i think this color can be simply defined as a peachy beige there is a little bit of this red brown undertone in brandy cream that gives it this very soft sort of peachy quality that i think differentiates it from your typical builder's beige which is a little more on the gold side of things i think to me that's its most distinguishing characteristic because when you're talking about beige not a lot that's very unique life altering about it but there is just enough of that undertone to really just give it something kind of fun that little bit of nuance that i think is pretty enjoyable and it also suits a lot of warmer colors in general and those more organic earthy materials just in a beautiful beautiful way it also has a decent amount of depth but it's not a dark color by any stretch of the imagination it's lrv or it's light reflectance value my viewers they already know what it is but if you don't know what it is the lrv is essentially a zero to 100 lightness score the higher the number is the closer it is to 100 the brighter and lighter it'll appear in your home and brandy cream sitting around a 66 so yeah pretty much two-thirds of the way to max brightness and that's nice i enjoy colors in the 60s for interior walls mainly because they're sort of in that goldilocks range where they're not going to feel too dark or too light in a lot of circumstances brandy cream just feels very safe i would say it's a bit passive as a color and it's lrv helps with that because it just reflects enough light to kind of feel airy and buoyant but it won't feel too light where you won't even notice its coloration it'll just feel completely washed out and just blah now its actual coloration maybe might make you feel blah if you're not really into these beige colors but i think there is a place for them because of their really passive subtle feeling brandy cream kind of fits in that neutral canvas sort of realm of paint colors where it's not meant to stand out so much it just sort of blends in without being white it has color to it at least but because of that rosy peachy undertone that's kind of the thing that makes me say hey before you get a big can of paint get a really small one first because you want to make sure that this color is going to mesh with whatever else you got going on in your home all right so that's the vibe what about versatility i find this to be one of the most underrated factors of paint colors mainly due to the fact that the more versatile a paint color is the more adaptable it is the more you can change things up around that color without having to change that color you're not gonna have to repaint every new season of ikea with all these cool things coming in colors that are versatile are going to be able to mesh well with different decor and different flooring and even different lighting conditions throughout the day colors with high versatility and flexibility are going to be able to mesh with a variety of design styles and decor pieces so even if you're the type of person to really switch things in and out, you'll be fine with a color that has a high versatility score. And Brandy Cream, on the interior side of things, if you're using this inside, I would absolutely give it a high versatility. It is, by definition, a neutral. It's not going to ruffle any feathers. It's not going to stand out for all the wrong reasons in a lot of cases. It doesn't have enough to it to really feel overly polarizing, which does make it very versatile. As a paint color, 
it's going to work in a lot of situations. Yes, there is that kind of red undertone that maybe might throw some people off, but the same can be said in the opposite direction if let's say you have a more of a green undertone neutral, a green age or something that I love, that might throw you off. So it just kind of depends on your personal preference all things considered. On the exterior side of things, I would also give this a high versatility. Maybe not necessarily as a main body color, but for everything else, especially on things like trim, I see a color like this working really, really well, especially if you have other colors that can really contrast it, either on the dark side of things or the light side of things. Just as long as you're sort of matching up those undertones and you're not going too clashy or complimentary with some heavy greens to really accentuate that peach aspect in it. So just be careful with what you pair it with, but absolutely exterior use, good stuff here. So it's a versatile paint color. We love that. What is my verdict? What is my personal take on this color? How would I use brandy cream if I were to use it in my home? Where does it fit on the paint people palette pyramid? Is this a main color that you can use throughout your home? Is it more of a supporting color that is gonna play second fiddle to your main color? Maybe just for specific rooms? Or is it a finishing color? Is it going to be one of those accent choices to help accentuate certain parts of your home? I would actually call Brandy Cream main color worthy. I think this is a color that you can sort of base a color palette on. This could be most used paint color in your home in terms of where it's going. So your hallways, your living areas, your whole main floor. This is a paint color that really just has a lot of versatility to it. Because of its high versatility, I mean, you could have this color pretty much everywhere in your home if you wanted to. It's pretty passive and subtle, which is why I think it's awesome as that main color. And definitely not as a finishing color because it's not going to be an accent in any stretch of the imagination. So that's how I would use this color. Because I do enjoy the green side of neutrals traditionally, I love me some green age. I love green in general. This is kind of going in the other direction with that red undertone, that peachiness. Even though it's not going to be my first choice for a main color, it could absolutely be a great secondary choice, a supporting color in other rooms to help complement some of the green in other parts. In my previous condo, I used Blaster of Paris by Benjamin Moore, which is a bit lighter than Brandy Cream and has less of that red, but it's still kind of in that lighter neutral zone. And I really enjoy Plaster of Paris, so I don't think there's any reason why I would be completely against the idea of Brandy Cream. Hope that helps. That's a review. And if you want a Brandy Cream color palette in an upcoming palette pyramid episode, let me know down below in the comment section. And we also have another video right over here for you.